In this lesson, we're going to learn how to calculate average rate of change. This is the third in a four-part series on this topic, and in this lesson, we're going to focus on input and output tables. So how does this work? Well, we know to calculate average rate of change, we need first to get two points. Then we use the formula y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Suppose you're given an input and output table, sometimes called a table of values, and you're asked to find the average rate of change over a certain interval, in this case, when x goes from 4 to 6. The key to finding your two points is this interval. Those two numbers, the 4 and the 6, are x values or inputs, so we can write each of them in the first position, the x position, of the ordered pairs. Then we can refer to our input and output table to get the corresponding output or y value. When x is 4, we see in the table that y is 6, so our first point is 4, 6. The second x value is 6. We look in the table and we see we have 6 and 12, so 6, 12 is the second point. We now have our two points and we simply need to use the formula. We label those points x1, y1 and x2, y2. Then we write the formula, average rate of change equals y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. We substitute the numbers into the formula y2 minus y1 is 12 minus 6, x2 minus x1 is 6 minus 4. Now we do the computation, and we see we have 6 over 2. Simplify the fraction, 6 divided by 2 is simply 3, so the average rate of change for this function, between 4 and 6, is 3. Here's one for you to try. Suppose we have this input and output table. We want to calculate the average rate of change over the interval when x goes from 1 to 7. Can you find the two points and then calculate the average rate of change? Please pause the video here and give it a try. Let's compare answers. The ticket to finding the two points is looking at that interval. x goes from 1 to 7. Those are x values, and so we write them in the x position of the ordered pairs, 1, comma something, and 7, comma something. We use the table to get the corresponding y value. When x is 1, y is 13, so the first point is 1, comma, 13. When x is 7, y is 19, so the second point is 7, comma, 19. We now have the two points, and we're now ready to use the formula. We label the points x1, y1, and x2, y2. We write the formula y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. We do the substitution, and we perform the computations, 6 over 6. Don't forget to reduce your fraction, 6 over 6 reduces to simply 1. The average rate of change when x goes from 1 to 7 is 1. Let's end this video with one last exercise for you to try. Here's an input and output table of values. Can you find the average rate of change when x goes from 4 to 6? Please pause the video here and give it a try. Let's compare answers. We know that the interval 4 to 6 is the ticket to finding the two points that we need. Those two numbers, 4 and 6, are the x values, so we write them in the x position of the ordered pairs. We look in the table to find the corresponding y values. When x is 4, y is 5, so our first point is 4, 5. When x is 6, y is 45, so we write 45 in the second ordered pair, 6, 45. Now we have the two points that we need in order to calculate the average rate of change. We label the points x1, y1 and x2, y2. We write our formula and then do the substitution, 45 minus 5 divided by 6 minus 4. We perform the computations, 40 divided by 2 and reduce the fraction, 20. The average rate of change over the given interval is 20. And now you know how to calculate average rate of change when you're given an input and output table. 
Remember, you can learn more about functions in Mr. Dory's Algebra Handbook, available at www.dorypublications.com.